Transillumination Positive Swellings Transilluminant swellings allow light to pass through them. They contain water, serum, lymph, plasma, or refractal fat. The test is performed in a dark room with a torch light placed on one side so that light passes through the contents of the swelling. It is observed from the opposite side. The swelling lights up if it contains clear fluid, such as plasma or lymph. If the content of the swelling is a solid organ, there is no transmission of light. Areas that are routinely tested for transillumination include Head, chest of infants, scrotum, and adult female breast. Head swelling that transilluminate include Hydrocephalus, hydranencephaly, meningocele, and meningomyelosal. Inflammatory swellings may also show transillumination since they are filled with plasma. However, solid tumors and swellings containing blood are not positive for transillumination. Chest infections, especially in infants, cavities containing edematous fluid show transillumination. Some examples are pneumothorax and pneumoperitoneum. Breast transillumination is also known as light scanning, diaphanography, optical imaging, Optical mammography, dynamic optical breast imaging, optical transillumination spectroscopy, diffuse optical spectroscopy, and transillumination breast spectroscopy. Breast transillumination is based on the theory that normal and abnormal tissues reflect different light intensities. This principle is used to diagnose breast cancers. Scrotal disorders, such as hydrocele and spermatocele, are also transillumination positive. The test is often done to get a clear idea of the contents of a scrotal swelling. Transillumination is also used to distinguish a hydrocele from an indirect hernia, which are often seen entering the scrotum. Apart from diagnosing the swelling, transillumination highlights the vasculature and the extent of the swelling. This often helps in building a treatment protocol Apart from the common sites mentioned, transillumination can be used on any swelling to give you a clearer idea of the contents of the swelling. Some examples shown here include cracks in teeth that may not be visible with the naked eye, eye disorders such as pigment dispersion syndrome, scleral tumor, and ocular injuries. The image here shows a ganglion cyst on the left wrist. Ganglion cysts arise due to leakage of synovial fluid and formation of a wall around the leakage. Since synovial fluid is a clear liquid, the swelling lights up on transillumination. To get more such high yield medical content, don't forget to subscribe. The City Med. The easiest and fastest way to take advanced clinical history.